Yeah. Shot it bad, yeah, that's okay. Click on the page and then I started my day. If you ain't Vader, then get out of my face. I'm watching Vader, so I'm feeling okay. They die. The lighting is weird, but good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Veda Danielle. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great today. I had a great morning. Kind of a slow morning. It's 10.25. I'm currently on the way to the gym right now. Um, I don't have too much plans today. Actually, I do. <laughs> um, I have a lash appointment today, which I will be getting ready for after the gym. And then I have to find Tavion a birthday gift. Okay, I'm doing this last minute. His birthday is literally tomorrow. But he's not celebrating it until this weekend. So I have like some time for real. But it just came so fast. It's like, bro. And then what do you get for niggas, bro? It's so hard shopping for y'all. Yeah, then I have to do that. And then I have church tonight. So I'm going to be on... I'm going to be with Alyssa most of the day because my lash appointment is right by her house. So after that, I'm going to just be over there. We literally just... She just left my house, my house yesterday. She spent the weekend with me because um, we went out. <laughs> we went out and then um, like we just was editing and chilling the rest of the weekend. But yeah, I got a lot of editing done yesterday. I really wanted to finish the video. The video is really good, which will be the last video that y'all saw. I love how it came out. Like it's just, I don't know, just good vibes, you know remember when i went to sleep last night to be honest. my nose is so dry that's what's going on i don't have too much um space on this sd card i had to delete some stuff also i didn't even eat like i'm just all over the place this morning bro when i have people staying over like i got up when i normally get up but i was just like moving pretty slow to be honest yeah i will see you guys at the gym actually no i'm gonna get something to eat first and then Um, can I have the bacon, egg, and cheese croissant? Let's see at the window. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. This is Dunkin', baby. This is not Chick fil A. I didn't get a drink because I want a Celsius. I'm trying to figure out if I should go to the gas station or what. Bro, last night was crazy. Hi. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You want any jelly? Um, no. I'm good. Thank you. Have a good day. Niggas be flirting. No, I do have to stop smiling at people because it's just my instinct to smile if they're smiling. But that be giving niggas the wrong idea. I don't want you, babe. I don't want no one. Except, uh, I'm about to literally eat in the gym because they have Celsius drinks in there. So, I'm gonna just eat in the locker room. Is that like, is that too much? But yeah, Duncan is literally right by the gym. Bro, backing up in like a um, slanted parking lot is so annoying. Anyways, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in there. I think my period is about to come on because why does my face look like this, bro? But yeah, I left my one of my AirPods in my job, so I'm about to stop there and get it because, like, I literally was working and it dropped out of my ear, and I don't remember picking it up. So I think it's still there. And then I'm gonna go home, shower, get ready, whatever, drink my protein shake, and then we can head to my lash appointment. This light just took forever. Okay, y'all, so I just left the house. Um, I literally had to hurry up and get dressed because I literally was running 
like low on time for real. I definitely could have got up earlier and went to the gym, but we're not gonna talk about it. But anyways, I'm on the way to my lash appointment now. Sorry if it's dark. Um, yeah, I'm on the way to my lash appointment and it's gonna take me 21 minutes to get there. I literally was rushing like crazy, bro. Why are you getting in front of... Bro, people get on my nerves. Uh. But yeah, I'm tired of looking like a sick puppy, bro. But yeah, I had to pack up all my stuff because I'm getting ready after my lash appointment. I'm just ready to not look like this, okay? But yeah, there's really not much else to update y'all on. So I will see you guys when I get to my lash appointment. All right, y'all. I just pulled up. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Um, yeah, I just pulled up to my last appointment. It is 227. My appointment is in like 10 minutes. Um, I have to shit so bad. I took my protein, my protein shake. I forgot to record me making it because I was literally rushing. Like this vlog is literally all over the place right now. But um actually I want to record on my Canon before I go in. Or I want to switch to my Canon. Y'all tell me why I walked to the door and I didn't even notice that she texted me. She said, um, can you come at three? I'm running late. If I would have seen that, I wouldn't have rushed. I wouldn't have rushed over here. Anyways, so yeah, now I'm just waiting. Looking crazy, child. But yeah, now I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to go to the mall because she takes like a minute for it. But I got hybrid, so it shouldn't take that long. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, okay, um, do you have Zelle or Apple Pay? She ended up calling somebody and they, they sent the money. Yeah, I guess they sent it. Not for free. Wasting my time. <laughs> Y'all, it is 6.51. I just finished my lashes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit irritated because for one, my, I had plans after I got my lashes done and it took way too long. Like, I love my lashes. I love the girl that did my lashes, but it just took too long. And I don't know, at this point, I'm just kind of irritated because I have no time to do anything before church that I needed to do, but it's fine. Everything happens for a reason. I'll do what I gotta do tomorrow, whatever but it's just like annoying right now but i'm waiting on Alyssa to come open this gate for me Good morning, y'all. It is 8.15 on the dot. Hold on. And I just pulled up to my house because I spent the night at a friend house. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. But, um, yeah. I just pulled back up to the house. And I just wanted to talk to y'all about church yesterday, okay? I'm not gonna lie. It was... The service was amazing, like... I don't be thinking about recording it because like I'd be so into it and really wanted to like grasp the word, you know? What I got from it was for one, the prayer the prayer before like the actual service was really like touching to me because I don't know, lately like there's a lot of things that like have been hard for me to like let go like past wise. Not a specific person, just like things that have like 
really hurt me in the past that have been hard for me to like kind of let go you know just like past hurt basically and i didn't realize it was like that bad until like literally bro we were literally praying and he said like let it go like three times and all like literally i just started bawling because it's like dang like i don't know when you're in like that atmosphere you can really hear god clearly telling you something and it's so crazy because they told us like it was oh my the service was so good i forgot to bring my camera like i left it in the car so that's why i was filming on my phone but it was packed out at tlr like it was amazing like they gave us food and all that stuff like it was just it was amazing bro if you missed it i'm so sorry because you missed out for real yeah so it's crazy because they told us to um like literally just sit in silence for 30 seconds and listen to what god is saying to you and he it's so crazy because he said to me he told me to let go of like all the hurt that i've ever been like caused by you know because in order for me to like really like grow and be because i'm happy but you know like those things that you just can't let go like it's so hard for you to let go and i just find myself like literally thinking about like damn like this person like really like you know like i just have to let that shit go and it is hard but but yeah like i heard that i heard like other things about like other people in my life like i just heard a lot in those 30 seconds but another thing that i took from it was god can literally do the impossible like we've been through that like he can do the freaking impossible but because he was talking about like a paralyzed a man that was paralyzed for like 38 years or something like that god basically was like do you want to be healed and the man is like giving all these excuses like well i can't do this well i can't be here because how am i just gonna get up and walk and like i'm paralyzed like i can't do this i can't do that he starts telling him like all this extra stuff but all god asked you was do you want to be healed he didn't ask you for all the extra stuff and one thing about god it don't matter what your situation is if you want to be healed if you want to put in or if you want to like a better outcome with your life and you go to him watch your life literally turn around like all you have to do is trust that he can literally do the impossible like it doesn't matter if you have an addict a bad addiction right or if you want to be healed and you go talk to him it may seem like dang like this is never gonna happen for me i'm too addicted bro if you really want to be healed bro and you go to him he will heal you and i can say that without a doubt like it's crazy how like god is the god is the only person that you literally do not have to doubt his intentions like all of that stuff like people of this earth they will disappoint you it doesn't matter who they are it doesn't matter if that's your closest the closest person to you they will disappoint you in some way god is the only person that can literally fulfill you nobody in this world can give you that fulfillment because they are not him like bro everybody nobody in this world is perfect so you can't expect people in this world to treat you basically how god would you know like nobody in this, like i'm telling you god is the only person the only person that can give you that fulfillment drinking can't do that smoking can't do that lying can't do that sex can't do that all like literally none of that stuff is permanent all of that shit is temporary that's why you do it all the time that's why you constantly do it because it's so temporary you keep doing it you know like i don't know but yeah i just wanted to say that like bro let god literally meet you where you are also you do not have to be in a better like place like a like your circumstances like you know how people be like oh when um when i get like this is a circumstance when i get my um when i finally get my car back and i can drive then i'll then i'll talk to god and then i'll like 
get close with him. There's a reason why God, there's a reason why God puts you in situations because he wants to work on your mental and he wants to work on you internally because he's trying to prepare, prepare you for what's coming next. So like Tavion, I'm just gonna talk about his situation because I just, it's crazy. So he hasn't had a license for a year and he hasn't been able to drive, right? Just think about like how crazy that is. Like bro, like you you have to depend on like everybody else and you just don't really have like that independence for real, you know? I'm not sure what it is that God was trying to teach him, but I know for a fact that God literally worked on his inner self and his mental so he can be prepared for what is coming next like when he's like able to drive and stuff like legally god could take something away from your life just so he can so you can focus on him and depend on him call out to him and he will you will like your life will literally be changed for real bro i don't know i just feel like i'm rambling at this point but I, like i feel like that makes sense like we're so worried about the stuff that's going on around us we want the stuff around us to be changed or we just lost something and we want it back and you know like stuff like but god is really trying to like focus on your mental for real and like your inner self and then you will be ready for your circumstances to change you know yeah i could go on and on about this but i'm also going to the house it's 8 27 i have to pee yeah, pee and walk mocha and then Hey y'all, so it's a little bit later. I um, edited my video, it's uploaded. I just have to do a thumbnail. Um, I did my hair and now I'm at Chick-fil-A before I go to my toe appointment. Hi. Veda. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. I'm only like seven minutes away from the place that she's at um wait i don't think i should go out this way oh i'm gonna have to do a whole u-turn oh my gosh no mm. i don't think i want to go this way <laughs> Okay. But please don't put it on your lips because last time I made these baggies, my clients put it on their lips. What? That was not a lip scrub. Oh my god, thank you so <laughs> much. Yes, yes. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm making a video of you of me giving it to you for my okay. video. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Wait, let's put this. Do you mind being on camera? Of course. Hey! <laughs> okay. Period. All right, yeah, we're done. All right. I think I would like definitely always be cool. Hey guys, so I am out of my appointment. Um, I didn't even get my henna because I wanted to be on time for the gym. Um, I really don't have to be there at a specific time, but um, I didn't want to be there uh, longer than like when I was already there because I don't know, like, well, my lashes yesterday taking that long, it just really like messed up everything for me and i literally have like other stuff i need to do but i'm glad that i got my video finished and uploaded and everything that was the main thing i needed to do but i need to go to the gym i'm not skipping it out and um yeah that just wasn't like something that was like really important so i was just like you know what let me just get it another time whatever but yeah so i'm leaving i'm literally in traffic it took me about like 30 minutes not even to get to my appointment now it's an hour to get home like that's atlanta for you babe it's never gonna be the same time going back ever 
It's so annoying, but yeah, I'm on the way home. I will see you guys when I get there. Not home, but well, yeah, I need to go home because I forgot my gym shoes. Turn in me, Look at the little Christmas trees. It's time for me to get a Christmas tree. to the mall y'all so I need to find an outfit um I don't know what to wear I'm thinking a long sleeve with boots and some leggings and some leggings All right, y'all, it's been a couple hours. I didn't even vlog in there because I was really on a mission. I did not want to be in there long for real. But I did end up spending some money on myself because, you know, I deserve it for real. Like, I really do deserve it, okay? So, from Dillard's, I got Dior Gloss. I think I'm saying it right. But, yeah, I got... Um, wait, this is the Lip Maxima. But, yeah, I got two of the Dior Gloss. I'm going to show y'all. I don't remember it even looking like this, but it's so cute. Like, look. This one is like a pink, like sparkly, and then I just got the clear one that looks like this. Decided to try these. I'm actually about to try the clear one. Bro, I bit my lip and it looks disgusting. Oh my God, this smells so good, but it's like white. Maybe I need to wipe my lips off. But yeah, I got the clear and the pink. So yeah, I got that. That was $80 together. And I got Savion his gift, which I got him Uggs, the black slippers. Because you can't go wrong with those. I'm gonna show y'all. But yeah, I got him these. Just to like be comfortable in for real. Got him those. And then I saw these shoes, y'all. And I just thought these were so cute. I got these Steve Madden, um, like, I don't know, like sneakers, yeah. Look at how cute these are. They had a pink one, but I was like, this color is more me. It's like a beige, um, like, sneaker. Y'all, this is so freaking cute. I tried it on, and I was like, yes, yes. Like, it looks so good on my foot. And I don't know, I just like this kind of style, you know, like a little bulky. So cute. So I can't wait to style these, even though I'm not a style. But yeah, that together was like 220 And then I got another pair of shoes. Okay, I really needed, well, I didn't even need, I really didn't need these, too. But I've always wanted them. I've literally always talked about them for working out. So them okay whatever they're the nike blazers like y'all see all the gym girlies wearing these they're probably not the best for your feet for working out but i just love how they look like i love high top anything so i just got them and they can literally go with anything that i wear these are perfect i love them um and yeah i got those and that was like 113 so I spent too much money today and I really was only supposed to go in getting a gift for someone else. Now I'm finna go home. I'm hungry so I'm about to eat or try to figure out what I'm gonna eat. And then uh, I'm going to the gym a little bit later. But I need to go to the house to like fold my clothes and laundry and stuff because I did all my laundry. I just need to fold my clothes. But I do actually need to go to like the store to get like toothpaste and stuff. I'll probably do that before I go home. Or I could even do it like after I work out. I think I might do it after I work out because I really just want to go home right now. I don't want to stop anywhere else. I hate living so far from the mall, bro. Because it's like a journey, literally. But yeah. I'm just blocked. Bro, it's not even sunny today either. The weather today is just not it. 
and I think it's gonna be like that for the rest of the week just like blah outside which really sucks but it's fine it's gonna take me 34 minutes to get home thankfully it's not traffic time it is one o'clock that's why I wanted to leave the house early because you no know, like y'all not catching me in traffic like yesterday I was so mad yesterday let me play my song real quick baby you see me lighting up Y'all, I basically live at the gym, but I just got here. This is me before. I'm wearing my new shoes. We love them. Period. Um, drinking my Celsius. here because I didn't even tell y'all but she's here because I gotta take her to the airport in the morning yes. mm -hmm. Mommy? um and I just made my protein shake so we finna chug 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 you see that tiktok with the baby where she was like mm -hmm. <laughs> bro that shit was funny bro there's a difference when you use creamy peanut butter <clears throat> and crunchy peanut butter creamy hates Crunchy. Miss. They don't hit. Wait, what are you doing now? I don't like <laughs> I, I, I don't like. I don't like what you're thinking. Oh, I don't like how you're thinking. I don't oh, like, Echo. I don't like the way you're thinking. Do y'all remember that from my last video? Okay, my camera's about to. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I know this video is probably like boring or blah, you know, more on the chill side. Just something you could just put on while you while you clean or something, girl. It ain't that interesting. But I hope y'all still enjoyed it. Um, I got better videos. Better videos coming for y'all. I've been trying to actually, like, plan stuff out so my videos can be a little bit more entertaining, you know? I gotta stop being so hard on myself because old me will literally just delete the whole video and not post it. But no, we can't do that. But yeah, I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. The next one should be a girl talk. So, yeah. Bye. Love you.